In this video, I'm about to show you what is arguably the best passing concept in Madden 22, at least probably the top five passing concepts this year. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Every single day, we post videos that can help you become a better Madden player. I try to get better every day, and I try to share that knowledge that I gain with my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. You can hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of the video. What we're going to be talking about today is something that you can actually do basically with just simply tight end apprentice. If you don't have tight end apprentice, I'm going to show you an alternate version of that that you can use in regs if you're maybe running with the Packers. But this is one of my favorite passing concepts in the entire uh, in, in the entire video game of Madden 22. Now, uh, another thing I want to quickly point out here is we're going to be talking about trips tied in in the New England Patriots offensive playbook today. And if you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive ebook, I've got a guide out on the U trips, the trips, the bunch got a, a guide also out on the spread formation within the new England patriots playbook i'd encourage you to join our patreon for only ten dollars a month you're going to be able to get access to every and all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive guides we've got 20 ebooks right now available with more coming out soon we've also got a ton of updates in that we updated every single week so that we can kind of keep you up to date with the current meta of madden and kind of how things shift from week to week different ability updates the per proper abilities to be using all of the things that you need to know to become a better madden player so if you want to take your game to the next level you can join that patreon by signing up there's a link in the description of this video okay guys let's talk a little bit about this concept this is slant post slant post is absolutely insane this year out of the trips tied in formation we're gonna be showing you how to do this from a uh, my favorite passing concept which is the pa counter go now if you don't have um if you don't have hot wrap master that is fine we're going to show you how to run the same basic concept um out of just uh without hot wrap master okay so we're gonna be going over pa counter go it's also a play that i like to go to uh whenever my opponent is running a lot of cover four drop a lot of people have been starting to shift to this defense and this play right here is going to crucify cover four drop we'll show you how it works so i like to run my trips to the short side of the field but it really doesn't matter if you're on the left hash or the right hash it's still going to be a very effective concept regardless and um, what i like to do with this is i'm simply going to put my left of screen outside slot receiver on a flat i'm going to slant my inside slot receiver which is chris godwin and then i'm going to post my tight end so you see this is exactly how the concept looks what's important to note about this this uh money play here is who do you read first what i like to do is i like to look to the fade flat concept first if i can hit either one of those players first early i'm going to hit them if not i'm going to turn my attention to the slant and then i'm going to be looking at the tight end posts so we look here against cover four drop you're going to see that the slant is really your primary read as you can see that tight end does a really good job of pulling the yellow zone back that allows us windows and space to be able to throw that ball underneath the coverage the next read on this play if for whatever reason the user that post or that that uh, slant you're going to be able to hit that post as you can see right there it's going to go about 25 yards down the field it really puts the defense in a tough position because they can't really zone drop this because of the fact that I'm what I'm about to show you, which is against a cover three Mabel concept. What's going to happen within this offense is you're going to notice that the flats are going to get pulled out by the flat receiver, which allows me to throw that ball right in that little window. It's my favorite play to attack the middle of the field. And the reason why is because that tight end post route really does a good job of just eating the defense up. And there's multiple points at which you can throw it. You can throw it on the first cut, you can throw it over the middle of the field, or you can throw it on the sideline. Now, let me show you uh, the next concept that I love this against. This is probably my favorite play against man-to-man -man coverage. And what we're going to show you here is the slant post concept. It absolutely crucifies man-to-man. -man. What you're going to see here is the slant route to the circle receiver is absolutely going to torch his man coverage. As you can see right there, wide open against the defense. Now, the next read on this, like I said, is your post to your tight end. So if they want to go back to man-to-man uh, -man coverage this is man-to-man -man coverage in my opinion the best way to run it which is with two purples or two cloud flats and what you're going to notice is again this is still going to be effective you can hit the slant there or you can hit that post before he gets to that zone as you can see right there one of my favorite little concepts now i'm going to show you this concept against match coverage and match coverage honestly does a little bit of weird glitchy stuff against this but we'll show you how this works so again the first read nope not there but you're going to notice that the tight end post absolutely glitches out the three red hook defender and is able to get open against the matching concept another thing that you're going to notice with this concept in terms of how it's going to work specifically against match coverage is your slant route is going to do a really good job of kind of running this quarter flat out of the way let me show you that one more time i got a little bit of a weird animation 
And if you don't want to run a slant, I'm going to show you something else that you can run against this. It's actually really, really cool. Um, it's something that we can really do against, specifically against cover four drop um, if they're going to be running that on us. But what you'll see here again um, is you can low ball this. Yeah, I guess you can't. I don't know why that guy's doing that, to be honest. Um, I think it's because the running back's not on a route. If I put the running back on an out route or if I motion that slot, it should be fine. Let me show you this coverage real quick. And you'll see, let me just kind of press it up and kind of get it to a little bit more of a normal more normal C place here. If I drag that receiver, he'll get open. But again, you see kind of right here, you might want to throw it just a little bit earlier. As you can see right there, the low ball, kind of before he gets to the sideline would be very advantageous. Uh, so I showed you man, I showed you zone. Uh, let me show you cover two. A lot of people will say that the cover two coverage is probably the best coverage to run against this. Uh, but to be honest with you, it's really not. First reason is because we're, again, where's our first read? Our first read is to the left side. And so what's gonna happen here is if they're in cover two, what you're gonna notice is that this post of the tight end, and let me show it to you one more time here. This post of the tight end, and more, more importantly, really this route to, um, this route to the fade, if that fade gets outside release or if he gets outside of the zone, just pass lead this to the left and you're gonna torch cover two as you can see right there for oftentimes a one play touchdown. So it really is kind of risky for the opponent to call that. Um, you know, if you're gonna get a lot of zone drops and stuff like that, that's not gonna be a great coverage call to be honest with you. But let's say they go with a cover two stock. And this is where I really like this concept. So if they go with the cover two stop, you're gonna get this little press right there. If you get that press, you want to instantly turn back here and take that route right there. That route is open 99.9% .9 of the time. And then what's going to happen here is the user is going to say, you know what, you can't throw that route. I'm going to make sure that you can't throw this slant uh, to Chris Godwin. And again, exactly like the Mabel concept, you're going to be able to throw that ball before he gets to the zones on that side of the field and be able to hit the defense that way. All right, guys, so I said in the intro, video, uh, intro of this video that I would show you how to run this concept. Um, if they were, you know, for example, running a, uh, if you don't have a hot route master quarterback. So the way that you want to run this, if you don't have a hot route master quarterback, is you want to put the tight end on a smart routed dig route. You're going to see here that smart routed in routes are one of the most underrated routes in this game. And the reason why is because they kind of work like a post, honestly, a little bit better, specifically against man coverage and Mabel coverage, because what's going to happen is they're going to kind of really sharply cut underneath the defense and it's going to put the defense in a tough position. So again, what I like to do is put the tight end on a smart routed in route. And what you're going to see here is there's so much real estate for me to be able to throw this against pretty much any defense in the game. We'll show you this not only against Mike Blitz 3 double Mabel, but I'll show it to you also uh, against man to man. So if they run man to man, again, same thing. You look slants open, but look at that dig. Absolutely, uh, absolutely lethal over the middle of the field. It's one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22 because it's very simple. You can quick snap it oftentimes, and also it can pretty much beat every coverage that they're going to put on the field. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to check out my Patreon membership, there's going to be a link in the description below where you can go sign up for just $10 a month. The cool part about the membership is it gets you access to everything. All of my eBooks, I've got 20 offensive and defensive eBooks available instantly. All the updates to those eBooks that we've done throughout the year, any updates that we're going to do, which we pretty much do updates every single week. I've already done one for this week. And then also any new eBooks that we release in the future, which we have several in the queue ready to come out. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you swallow my Twitch channel as well. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. I pretty much stream every single day in the mornings. If you want to go check that out, drop my Twitch channel a follow. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to check out the Patreon, it'll be linked down in the description.